Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Hawaii Association for College Admission Counseling Virtual College Fair. Thank you so much for joining us. We are really excited you are here. Before we get started, we do have a few housekeeping items to note. First, if you have any questions at all, feel free to submit those through the Q&A button. You can type in your questions to the presenters at any time. Your camera and microphone are off. You are muted and your video is off. The panelists can't see or hear you. There are more sessions happening, so feel free to sign up for more college presentations, just like this one, where you registered for this. And lastly, this recording will be available a week from today at strivescan.com backslash Hawaii. We are currently in session A2, where my mouse is circling at the moment. And so without further ado, I'll get out of the way and introduce our first representative from Cornish College of the Arts. Oops. Aloha, everybody. I, we were just talking before how we miss seeing you. We miss being together in your great state of Hawaii. Um, and I just, I think I also will uh, say this in support of my other colleagues, uh, Cornish Dance in support of our Asian and Pacific Islander students, current and future. We see you, we hear you, we stand by you, stay safe. And um, I hope we can see you soon in person. So my name is Sharon Starling. I'm the Director of Admission at Cornish College of the Arts. We're a college devoted exclusively to the visual and the performing arts located in Seattle, Washington. I do actually like to start with this slide. If sometimes if you tell people you want to study in the arts or you want an artistic major, there can be naysayers in your vicinity. And I like to share some resources that might help you and your families. Um, the ACAB, the association. Oh, I'm sorry, Catherine, is everything okay? Yeah, so you're uh, showing an Excel um, sheet. You're not oh, goodness sure. gracious, what is going on here? So sorry. No worries. Let's close all these. I am so sorry. Are we better? You are not sharing screen at the moment. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. If you uh, prefer, we can jump down to the next. Okay, you're good. Am I good? I think, yep, you are, yep. Okay, I'm so sorry, I apologize for the. And then full screen, there you go. Full screen, okay. My apologies, thank you. As you are looking at schools, if you tell somebody you might be interested in studying the arts, there are often naysayers in the room. Would you like to share a couple of websites and resources, including the Association of Independent Colleges of Art and Design, the Strategic National Arts Alumni Project out of Indiana University, and the National Portfolio Day Association? There are great resources on all of these websites, including facts and data that will help support your um, interest in the arts and college. The mission of Cornish College of the Arts is to educate and offer students aspiring to become practicing artists with an educational program of the highest possible quality in an environment that nurtures creativity and intellectual curiosity while preparing students to contribute to society as artists, citizens, and innovators. We realize this mission by offering baccalaureate degrees in the visual and the performing arts and leading the public in presentation, artistic criticism, participation and discussion of the arts. We are 100 years old, established in 1914, our founder Nellie Cornish and the many artists that followed her believed in education through exposure to all of the arts. This led to some of the greatest innovations in the arts during the early 20th century. It shaped much of how we create and appreciate work today and helped to put the Pacific Northwest on the map as a thriving arts community. Our degrees focus on critical thinking, creative problem solving, collaboration, and the generation of new work. 
our students focus on traditional and interdisciplinary work as well as experimental art forms. Our faculty are working professional artists who guide students through individualized mentorship and help them develop professional skills and connections. Our community is dedicated to small classes, personalized instruction with an average class size of 13 and a faculty student ratio of one to seven. Artists sitting at Cornish are led by their ideas and supported by world round, world renowned professional artists. Our urban campus is immersed in the arts and culture of Seattle, one of the world's epicenters for the visual and performing arts. It is an ideal city to pursue your artistic education. Our urban campus is also immersed in the arts and culture of Seattle, um, making it an ideal city to be seen as a young emerging artist. Our urban campus is also, sorry, I'm on a different slide, thank you. Also home to many events for students to get involved within, such as the Fifth Avenue, the Seattle International Film Festival, the Seattle Art Museum, and the Bumbershoot Music Festival. Our campus is located in the South Lake Union neighborhood, surrounded by creative agencies, architecture and design firms, nonprofits. Uh, you'll find Cornish alumni, faculty, and students making bold, innovative work, all within walking distance of the campus. Students at Cornish have access to a variety of um, state-of-the-art creative and performing spaces that are available for use by all majors, regardless of discipline. Visual arts students make art in individual and shared studio spaces, materials labs, editing and recording suites, and more. Performing artists rehearse, perform, and learn in a wide array of practice spaces black box studios, historic concert halls, and the iconic Cornish Playhouse located at Seattle Center. Cornish Commons is our 20-story uh, residence hall. It's right across the street from the main campus. It houses students from 38 states and 18 countries. Um, and it's an amazing space built with artists in mind, practice rooms, um, art making space, studios, workout facilities, and movement studios. Majors that we offer include BFAs in animation, art design, film, illustration, game arts, and UX design. BFA in performing arts, we have dance, we have musical theater, acting, and original works. We have a bachelor of music degree, and then newly added in BA degrees for transfer students in art, dance, music, theater, and film. In 2019, Cornish did um, something pretty amazing. We actually lowered tuition 20%. Uh, we award over $6 million in scholarships each year to 95% of the admitted students, um, and those are renewable for up to four years. Application process, pretty straightforward. Application, transcripts, personal statement, letter of rec. We've always been test optional. Last part is an audition or a portfolio review. That is a requirement for admission. It makes it sound a little big and scary, but I like to offer that this is really the, um, it's a benchmark. And what it does is also guarantee to you that you will be surrounded by people at the same skill level and readiness to do their work. Couple of deadlines. Um, we are taking applications still for fall 2021. And if you're looking for 22, the applications open August 1. You can learn more at cornish.edu. Thank you. I apologize for the miss up at the beginning. No problem. Thank you um, for sharing. The next representative is from Columbia College, Chicago. All right, cool. Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, everyone. Uh, good to see you uh, today. My name is Derek Brinkley. I'm the Assistant Vice President of Undergraduate Admissions at Columbia College Chicago. So I'm going to do just a brief presentation about Columbia. So uh, just to start off with, uh, we are a college for creative. So everything that we are focused on, similar to Cornish, um, is focused on the creative arts. Um, so the few things that our students really do focus on during their time um, at Columbia is that they focus on hands-on learning. Uh, they're really making sure that from the very beginning, 
they are getting an opportunity uh, to spend time in their major, in those classrooms, in the labs, and really getting that hands-on experience. Um, our students focus on networking and career preparation. It's not enough to be a great singer, a great dancer, a great artist, whatever it is that a student wants to do. Uh, we really want to make sure that you are prepared for an actual career in the arts once you graduate. Uh, we do have a rigorous liberal arts curriculum, which I'll talk about here in just a second. And then collaboration is a really big part of what we do at Columbia. Uh, just the facts, just to give you an understanding of uh, some basic facts about Columbia, about 6,500 total students at Columbia College Chicago, about 42% of our students identify as students of color, 16% uh, of our students are first generation, a third of our students identify as members of the LGBTQ plus community, average class size of about 18, and student to faculty ratio of 12 to one. One of the big things that we focus on as an institution is that we are striving to actively be an anti-racist institution. Um, we know that there's going to be a lot of mistakes that we will make in this process, but it, it's very important um, to our uh, curriculum. It's very important to our culture and to who we are as an institution. Uh, we especially want to focus and, and really focus on those from underrepresented and marginalized identities, um, black and brown students, indigenous students, LGBTQ plus students, and obviously our Asian American students as well um, as of late and so uh, really striving to be an anti-racist institution. Tuition is about $28,000 per year. We always like to start with the numbers. Uh, $28,000 per year, room and board to live on campus, roughly about $16,000 for students. Um, our average aid package last year was $26,000 for the year. So again, with uh, tuition being about 28, we really do our best to cover as much tuition as we possibly can for our students um, as we are going into the academic year. Uh, most of our students still do have to cover some sort of room and board um, on their own, but we really are trying to take care of as much tuition um, as we possibly can um, as we are going through the process. As long as a student submits an application to the college, they'll be considered for merit based scholarships. If you fill out a FAFSA, you will be considered for need-based scholarships. And then if you submit a portfolio or an audition, you will be considered for talent-based scholarships. So we really do try our best to make Columbia as affordable as we can. What does that money actually buy you at Columbia? Really creative learning environment for students, right? Between our media production center, which is a 35,000 square foot space with uh, two sound stages, a motion capture studio, and a lot of classrooms there great opportunities for students. Um, our Getz Theater Center was remodeled a couple of years ago and it's got a state-of-the-art uh, main courtyard theater that seats about 200 students there. Fabrication facility contains 15,000 square feet of various different spaces for students to create uh, different things on campus. And then our uh, new student center that opened about a year and a half ago uh, that's really focused on providing a really great central location on campus for students to be able to participate. 60 plus majors and minors for students to choose from within the visual arts, business and management, communication and writing, media and digital arts, music and sound and performing arts. You can see our list of majors at columbedu slash majors, but uh, you've got a little bit of that list uh, there. Our core curriculum, again, we really want to make sure that students graduate from Columbia being able to think critically, being able to communicate effectively, and being able to write properly. We feel that regardless of what career you end up going into, that those are going to be the main skill sets that will allow you to be successful regardless of what you do once you graduate. So in combination with, uh, again, kind of our, our creative uh, realm that we have at Columbia, you're really going to make sure that you get those skill sets through our core curriculum and through classes within business and technology so that you can be that well-rounded person once you graduate. Uh, when you graduate, our alumni go on and do some very fantastic things, uh, both here in Chicago and around the country and around the world. Uh, Amy Bryant uh, is a staff member or a cast member, if you will, on Saturday Night Live. She's a Columbia alum. Some of you might know Lena Waithe, um, who uh, is, uh, was one of the first uh, Black women to win an Emmy for Comedy Writing uh, performance a few years ago. So our students are going on and finding real world success success actually out in the world. Chicago uh, obviously is a big draw for our students. We really uh, appreciate our world class city, third largest city in the United States, and really has the best of both worlds. Kind of the smaller town feel in terms of the neighborhoods, really great neighborhood fields, but then a third largest media market in the country. You think about all of the different films that are filmed in Chicago, uh, TV shows that are filmed in Chicago, lots of great opportunities for students to really take advantage of the city and what we have to offer. 
In terms of applying to, uh, to Columbia, we start accepting applications in early August for students. We are on rolling admissions, so we'll get decisions out usually within about three to four weeks uh, for students. Uh, there are a few different types of programs that we have. So we have BA and BS programs, Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science programs, where students do not have to submit additional materials as a part of that application process. On the flip side, we have our BFA and our BMUSE programs, Bachelor of Fine Arts and Bachelor of Music programs that do require some sort of audition um, or some sort of portfolio as a part of the application process. Those websites there uh, will take a student to find out more information about our application processes that we have at the college. Obviously, visiting right now is kind of a weird thing, but we can certainly do that online in the virtual setting. So we have a ton of different opportunities on our virtual website at columbedu slash virtual. So we would love to have you uh, get a sense of who we are. And then my contact information is here um, as well. Take a brief picture um, just so that you can uh, keep in contact with me as I work with all students from Hawaii. But thanks for being here this evening uh, and hope that you got a chance to learn a little bit about Columbia. Thanks. Thank you, we really appreciate it. Just a friendly reminder that um, if you have any questions at all to submit those through the Q&A, our representatives are here and available to answer any questions that you have. The next representative is from Marist College. Well, aloha and uh, thank you for having us uh, tonight. My name is Corinne Shell, and I'm Director of West Coast Admission at Marist College which is located in Poughkeepsie, New York, about an hour and a half north of New York City. We are a private four-year liberal arts school with approximately 5,100 undergraduate students. Uh, I find that students from the West, what they love about where we're located is that we're close to a major city like New York, but we're not in it. Easily accessible, we are one mile from the train. Uh, the picture that you're looking at here is a snapshot of our campus from the Hudson River. And uh, I call it the Academic Country Club. It's an absolutely stunning campus uh, with very strong academics, as well as a wonderful uh, social place for our students uh, that can join clubs and organizations and uh, participate in intramural programs. Uh, and then uh, College Activities provides programs both on and off campus. The next slide will actually give you a little bit of a, a background about Marist. The sound isn't working, Camille. Okay. Correct, I'm sorry. <laughs> yep, no worries, I appreciate it. For some reason, uh, it doesn't wanna work for me. I apologize. So again, uh, we are known as the Marist Red Foxes. Uh, that is our mascot. And as mentioned, we're a little over 5,100 undergraduate students. We have close to 1,000 graduate students that do all of their classes online. Uh, several of our undergraduate programs are part of a five-year program where students can get their bachelor's and their master's in a five-year period of time. Communications, uh, computer science, business, psychology, all of those have those five-year programs. Uh, some of our top programs at Marist tend to be our School of uh, Business with concentrations in finance, human resource management, international business and marketing. We actually have an investment center right on campus. So our students are trading on Wall Street Monday through Friday with real money. Uh, we also have a very strong uh, communications program, everything from public relations, advertising, sports communication. We also have a very strong uh, program uh, for, uh, oh my gosh, sorry, sports communication. We have a partnership with uh, ESPN. Uh, many of our uh, colleagues or our, our graduates work there. Uh, we also have a very strong uh, fashion design, fashion merchandising program, computer science. 90% of those students have jobs before they even enter their senior year. Uh, we do offer well over 40 different majors and one of the most popular majors for an incoming freshman is uh, undecided. But you have up until the end of the second semester of your sophomore year to determine what it is that you would really like to do. Our student body is represented from 47 different states and 64 different countries. And then 98% of our uh, graduates, uh, six months upon graduation, are either employed or in grad school. And that's a really high number. And I attribute quite a bit of that success to our uh, internship program. 
The only school that requires uh, an internship program is our School of Social and Behavioral Science, which would be criminal justice, psychology, social work, and uh, our degree in psychology with dual certification in elementary ed and special ed grades one through six. And Marist actually does have a partnership with the Department of Hawaii, Department of Ed out of, out of Hawaii, uh, who come to visit us in uh, the spring to recruit our soon to be graduates. We have a very strong uh, health program at Marist. Uh, these are some of our classrooms. Upper left, left is an anatomy lab, uh, and for Marist to have those type of facilities is literally unheard of. We have a very good uh, science program. We have partnerships with Sloan Memorial Kettering Research down in New York City, Columbia Presbyterian. There's a hospital right across the street from Marist, as well as Vassar Hospital, which is a couple of miles down the road. Bottom left is the investment center, where, as I mentioned, students are uh, trading on Wall Street. Bottom middle is our Fashion Emporium, which is the store uh, that our fashion students can work at on campus, uh, which provides them with the hands-on experience. Cybersecurity uh, on the bottom right. And then we do have the Marist poll, uh, where we poll at the state, the national, and the local level. Marist does have an honors program. Again, those internships cannot say enough about them. More than 83% of our students will do some type of internship. Uh, but a majority of our students actually do. My daughter did three of them in communications, advertising. Two months after she graduated, she had, had a job in advertising. These are some of our uh, more prominent, uh, the DC semester in conjunction with American University. Uh, we have a Marist in Manhattan program uh, and then the Hansard Scholars program in London. We have a, a very strong study abroad program. More than half of our students will study abroad at some point during their four years to well over 70 different destinations around the world. Uh, we offer two first year programs, one at our campus in Florence, Italy, and then the other at the Dublin College of Business, Business College. Uh, we talk about our campus in Florence because it is our campus right in the heart of Florence. Uh, Division one for sports, 23 varsity, 12 women, 11 men, clubs and organizations. Here's some of the ways that we apply uh, or accept applications, our deadlines, and this is what we look for. My time is up, so thank you very much. I will put my contact information in the chat so you can reach out to me if you have any questions. Aloha. Very helpful information. The next representative is from Wheaton College. Thank you, Karen. And uh, aloha, everyone. My name is Silvio Vasquez. I am the Chief Enrollment Management Officer at Wheaton College. And in that role, I oversee the offices of undergraduate admissions and student financial services. It is a joy to be with you. I'm sorry we can't be together in person. Uh, like Corinne and others, we love coming to you and to visit your schools and your churches and your families to learn more about you. So while we're here, I'm just going to show, start off with a video. Humble leaders, adventurous thinkers, faithful believers. For Christ and his kingdom, Wheaton stands at the forefront of Christian liberal arts education. Here, we facilitate an unparalleled journey for our students, bringing together deep faith and intelligence to pursue their most ambitious callings. At Wheaton, Reaching God-given potential is never accomplished alone. From coaches on the field to professors in the classroom, we come together to make space for students to wrestle with timeless questions and pursue biblically informed, thoughtful wisdom as they pursue academic, artistic, and athletic excellence. We are one of the nation's colleges that change lives because that is exactly what we do. We live, work, serve, and worship together as an educational community centered on Jesus and reflecting the beautiful diversity of his kingdom. It's collaborative, immersive, Christ-centered. 
enduring model. With twin traditions of quality academics and deep faith, along with a faculty of Christian thought leaders and a staff of dedicated believers, allows us to champion the true essence of the Christian liberal arts educational experience. Continuing the legacy lived out by iconic thinkers and evangelical luminaries around the globe, Wheaton integrates and connects disciplines through Christian thought, diverse peers, and contemporary global context. Here, adventurous thinkers and faithful believers come together to create a mosaic of diverse backgrounds, beliefs, and hopes. It's a place of curiosity and conviction, a place to live out your values and pursue your ambitions. Except here, it's not only about what you can achieve. It's about who you can become. Living out our calling with heart and skill through Christ-centered leadership, at Wheaton, you don't have to settle. We call ourselves Thunder because, like Thunder, the Wheaton Network is a force moving through him and for him to build the church and benefit society worldwide. Like rolling thunder, God's mighty voice calls us to be humble leaders, adventurous thinkers, and faithful believers for Christ and his kingdom. With over 4,000 colleges and universities in the United States, Wheaton is one of those rare colleges that has held true to its mission since its founding, much like in the spirit of the Harvards and the Princetons and the Yales that were founded as institutions to train up men for the church. Wheaton College has always attracted men, women, and people of different races to build up the kingdom for Christ. We are a college that was founded in 1860. We are distinctively Christian. We are not for everyone. Uh, we do have a statement of faith and a community covenant that our students abide by. <clears throat> our student body comes from 50 states and 45 countries. 70% of them are out of state. We have a diverse class with 30% and growing of domestic North American ethnic minorities. And 16% are from other countries. 95% of our students retain and continue on to graduation. We offer 40 majors and programs through the College of Arts and Sciences and the Conservatory of Music. And our general education curriculum, Christ at the Core, offers a foundation for us and our students to learn and prepare for careers and vocations where they will serve and lead in respective fields. Our alumni have served on Wall Street, have founded mutual fund companies, have produced movies in Hollywood. If you like Elf, that it's a Hollywood, uh, a, a great Christmas movie produced by uh, Wheaton alumni. They have served as presidential speech writers and senators. Our expert faculty uh, are uh, scholars in their field. Uh, the average class size is 20 students with a student to faculty ratio of 11 to one. Over 100 student groups and activities for our students who come. Uh, I like to say that Wheaton is a place where you will find excellence across the board in the classroom, on the playing field, in clubs and organizations. As a residential college, 90% of our students live res on campus all four years and our dining hall has been ranked top 15 in the country year in and year out. We offer chapel three times a week for students who are very interested in growing in their faith, not just intellectually, and with many study abroad opportunities. And we are 25 miles west of Chicago with a train station right across the street, offering internships, free passes to museums, and uh, time to get away on weekends. 20 to 25% of our students compete in intercollegiate athletics. We're Division III NCAA, offering 19 men's and women's programs. We're number 12 among all US colleges and universities nationally, producing alumni who earn academic doctorates. Number 13 among colleges and universities based on alumni rating their respective schools. 
and 99% of our students will land in post-baccalaureate programs, internships, or be employed within six months after graduating. 38 is our, uh, we're ranked number 38 as best undergraduate teaching faculty, and these are some of the organizations that recognize Wheaton for its outstanding educational experience and value. I will close with this slide. I will close with this slide. 21% uh, of our students come from families of zero to 45,000 annual income, and we offer scholarships of eight to $16,000. Thank you. Thank you. Before we hear from our next two representatives, I do want to uh, send a second friendly reminder to go ahead and submit your questions through the Q&A. Um, any questions that you have along the way, feel free to submit those there and our representatives will uh, reach out to you. Our next representative is from Muhlenberg College. Muhlenberg College. You got it, Catherine. <laughs> Thanks so much. Hi, right. everyone. Aloha. My name is Becca Larson. I'm the Regional Director of Admissions at Muhlenberg College. Muhlenberg is a small liberal arts college located in Allentown, Pennsylvania. Allentown is about 60 miles from Philadelphia, 90 miles from New York City. It's quite um, easy to get to campus in terms of accessibility because we're close to several major airports. So our students from Hawaii generally fly into Newark Airport, um, and that's about an hour and 10 minutes or so from campus. Um, we also are close to the Philadelphia Airport, and we have an airport right in Allentown um, that's about a 10-minute drive from campus, but would require some additional connecting flights um, for our students. We enroll just under um, 2,000 students at Muhlenberg, and we're known for our deep sense of community. If you look behind me on my virtual um, background, you'll see that the, um, the doors to that campus building are red, but actually the doors to all campus buildings are red, um, which goes back to our Lutheran roots. Red is a Lutheran sign of welcoming. So something we're known for at Muhlenberg is that deep sense of community and the fact that all students um, hold doors open for one another. We're a place where people are really friendly, where it's easy to, to build that community. And I think, um, you know, the, the, the Muhlenberg Ohana is certainly very strong. 91% um, of students live on campus all four years with guaranteed housing. And something that we're very proud of um, is the delicious food that we have on campus. So we've been rated in the top 20 of colleges and universities um, in the U.S. for best campus food and often are number one in the state of Pennsylvania. We offer um, 22 different Division III sports, including football, and our football team made it to the final four in Division III championships um, in 2019. Although our 2020 season was canceled, we're just putting all of that energy into um, the 2021 season next fall. Academically, we are a liberal arts college and we offer just under 40 majors at Muhlenberg. So there's a lot of academic breadth from which to choose from. Um, about a third of our students double major, another third pursue a major and a minor. So if you're a student who's interested in pursuing multi multiple areas of academic interest, Muhlenberg um, could be a great place for you. We um, are known for our strength within the arts. We have a spectacular theater program that does offer musical theater um, as one of its concentrations. And what's unique about our artistic programs is that we don't require students to um, submit an audition or a portfolio, although we do have auditions um, and do portfolio submission uh, for talent-based grants. About 50% of our students studying within the arts will pursue a, another major as well. So if you're a student who wants theater and or dance and um, or film studies and Muhlenberg is a great place for you. Beyond our um, strength within the arts, we offer programs in business, accounting, economics, finance. We have a spectacular pre-med program and a ton of undergraduate research opportunities for our students. Um, the biggest industry within the Lehigh Valley where we're situated is healthcare. Um, so we have partnerships with several of the local hospitals for both clinical and research opportunities for our students. And our admit rate into medical school um, was about 87% to medical schools within the U.S. So, so way higher than the national average. Um, Beyond the majors that I've, I've listed, we also have um, majors such as neuroscience. Our newest major is in sustainability studies. Um, so, you know, for a small college, there's a lot of different academic offerings for our students. And our classes are small, discussion-based, and our faculty really get to know each and every student, which is something our students really value in their academic experience. Um, beyond what you are studying on campus, we also understand that a lot of students are thinking about what's beyond their bachelor's degree. So Muhlenberg has several academic partnerships that allow students to uh, sometimes graduate at an accelerated pace and, and go on to graduate study. So we have a three plus four program with the University of Pennsylvania College of Dentistry. Um, we also have one with SUNY College of Optometry. Our newest academic partnership is with Villanova University. It's a three plus three law program. Um, so if you're interested in any of these programs, don't hesitate to hop onto our website or reach out to me with additional questions. Um, 
We also really take advantage of the urban um, you know, center of Allentown, it being the third largest city in PA. There's a lot of great internship opportunities and our career center does a wonderful job of facilitating um, internships for our students. We also really you know, get students out to the cities that we're in close proximity to. So we do career road trips that take students to um, you know, New York City or Philadelphia or Washington DC so they can learn a little bit more um, about careers that exist within those particular cities in particular fields. About 60% of our students study abroad as well. So um, we really encourage students to have a global study experience, whether that's for a semester, for a year, for a summer. Um, and we also have short-term programs that are led by our faculty that, um, you know, they travel really all over the world with those, um, those study tours, which is great for our students. Um, in terms of the admission process, we have been test optional since 1996. So before many of you on the call were born, we were already, um, you know, accepting applications without standardized testing. We really value the opportunity to get to know you through the admission process. We encourage our students to schedule an admissions interview um, so that we can really have a conversation with you. We're a common application exclusive school. It's the only way to apply to Muhlenberg. Um, while we don't have any supplemental questions on our application, that's where um, you know, your interview can really help us learn a little bit more about you and where you can articulate your interest in Muhlenberg as well. Um, we really, um, you know, I'll send my contact info. I would love to chat with you more um, about Muhlenberg, the deep sense of community that we have, the many academic opportunities that we offer. Um, and I wish you all the best of luck in your college search process. Thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you. Our next, our last representative, but certainly not least, is from Goucher College. Sorry, everyone. Good evening. My name is Lisa Hill, and I am Senior Associate Director of Admissions. Thank you all for being here today and learning a little bit about Goucher College. Goucher is located just north of Baltimore in the suburb of Towson. Uh, Towson is home to two colleges, including Goucher, a number of major retailers, restaurants, social venues, all are within a short walk or quick shared ride from campus. Our central location provides access to a number of major cities. We're 12 miles north of Baltimore's Inner Harbor in the downtown area. We're about an hour's drive from Washington, D.C. We're about an hour and a half from Philadelphia and about a two and a half, three hour train ride to New York City. We're also located about 45 minutes from Baltimore, Washington International Airport or BWI. We were founded in 1885 by John Franklin Goucher as the Women's College of Baltimore, and we were actually located in downtown Baltimore. In honor of Dr. Goucher's legacy of providing education to marginalized populations, the college was renamed Goucher College in 1910. His early commitment to social justice, global education, and innovation remain pillars of a Goucher education today. The campus moved to the suburb of Towson in the 1940s due to the need for more space. And then the college we went co-ed in 1986. So we are a private four-year residential liberal arts college dedicated to preparing students for the jobs of the future. Our liberal arts education includes the sciences and a focus on critical thinking, problem solving, collaboration, and communication, the very skills sought by today's employers. We're situated on a 287-acre wooded campus with about 1,100 undergraduate students and about 700 graduate students in attendance. Our students come from 45 states, DC, Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, and 30 plus countries. We are a relaxed, friendly community where students are quick to say hello and professors know who you are both in and outside the classroom. Because of our size, our average class size is 17 and we have an 11 to one student faculty ratio. As I mentioned earlier, one of Goucher's pillars has always been innovation. And this is demonstrated both in our classroom and beyond. Instead of a laundry list of general education requirements, students take a series of seminar, interdisciplinary, and proficiency-based courses that are adapted to their areas of interest. We offer a variety of majors and minors that reflect the liberal arts and new ways of learning. In addition to adding new eight new majors this year, including education studies, 
engineering science and professional creative writing, we now offer a four plus one BA MS program with Johns Hopkins School, Johns Hopkins University Carey's Business School, and a four plus one BA MBA program with Loyola University in Maryland. Another one of our pillars is our commitment to global education. Since 2006, Goucher has had 100% commitment to incorporating a global perspective throughout a student's academic experience. What that means is 100% of our students study abroad. Our programs include semester long experiences and as well as intensive courses abroad, which are three week programs led by Goucher faculty. Typically these experiences take place during a student's junior year once their majors and minors have been declared. And these are some of the many places that our students um, have attended. Community means many things uh, to us. As a residential college, more than 80% of our students live on campus all four years. First year students live in a first year village, which is a living and learning complex designed to foster community and collaboration and features a demonstration kitchen. So if you like chopped, here's a way to showcase your wares, a performance studio, a fire pit, and lots of hammocks. And all our rooms uh, are doubles. Mary Fisher Dining is essentially located on campus. Our food service company utilizes about 30 local farmers to supply us with fresh produce, antibiotic and hormone free meats. Um, the dining hall is set up in a food station um, set up and it can accommodate a variety of dietary regimens, including vegan, kosher, allergen free, gluten free. But most importantly, we have delicious, great food. Um, we are a diverse community that reflects today's world. Students are attracted to us because they can be themselves. Successful students are intellectually curious, passionate about social justice, and have an eagerness to experience the world. Outside of the classroom, our students participate in more than 60 clubs and organizations, Division Three athletics that includes 10 women's sports, eight men's sports, a nationally ranked co-ed equestrian team, esports, and intramural and club sports. In terms of admissions, we offer individualized and holistic admissions process that is test optional and free of an application fee. Additionally, when students um, apply for admission, they're automatically considered for our merit scholarships. Um, there are two ways to apply. We um, offer the common application as well as a Goucher video application, which provides another opportunity for students to show us what makes them unique why they will flourish at Goucher, and how they will fit into our community via a video. We offer two admissions deadlines, early action and regular decision. Both are non-binding and both offer rolling notification of admissions decisions. So thank you very much for your time. I really do appreciate it. Um, if you're interested in learning more um, about Goucher, we're just at goucher.edu. Um, again, thank you. Be well and mahalo. Awesome, thank you. We've reached um, the end of our session for today, but I wanna thank our presenters for all the great information shared. Um, we really appreciate it all. Um, and thank you to each of you for joining us. Um, as we close, there'll be a very quick four question survey that will appear on your browser. If you don't mind taking a moment to fill that out for us, your feedback will be extremely helpful. There are more sessions happening, so feel free to sign up for more sessions um, from other wonderful college representatives where you registered for this one. And lastly, this recording will be available a week from today at strivescan.com backslash Hawaii. Again, thank you and have a great day.